Hey YouTubers, it's Mark from True Seeker, and I'm in Soul 663. And let me tell you, every day I'm getting more mesmerized. Look what's in this picture. Look at this stuff. This is what just up in the contrast, uh, correcting the contract just a little. And I put the picture in pixalert.com. It's on the internet. It's, you know, free editor right out of your browser. Look at the heavy blocking here. You could see what this is not a rock back here, okay? These are not rocks. And I'm not going to say it again because I think everybody gets bored of it. <laughs> but you could see there's piping back here. Do you see this? You see the pipes coming up. Do you see this? There's connectors. Do you see this white box, whatever this thing is? Look at this. To see, when they want to cover this stuff up, what they do? Look at this picture. They are showing us more and more and more every day, if you know how to look for it. I mean, I think we're on the brink of something pretty big here. I mean, look at this stuff. I mean, if you know what you're looking at, your jaw drops. You could see the carvings behind this stuff. These are not rocks. You could see there's the eye, the eye, the nose, the mouth comes down to a body you can see there's a platform there's a shadow there's another carving next to it see? look at this look at this carving see how they blocked it I mean, look at this it almost looks like some type of entity or something but it's a harm or I mean it's just so weird I mean, you gotta download this picture. Look at this circular item. Look at what's carved into the top of it, the pattern. The link will be in the description. I mean, you gotta download this picture. See how they distorted this face? This carved face? See the mouth, the eyes? See what they, how they distort it? Look at this item. Circular. It's got some type of bar or something coming through it. They try to make these look like rocks, but you see what they're covering up? You can see the little carvings in them. And these are not rocks. They're moving pixels around. And see, look which cards into this one. Man, this is a rock. Okay, NASA. Look what they did to this. To me, this is some type of piece of machinery. Go in your yard or your neighborhood, take a picture of a rock, okay? Just listen to me. Any troll or doubter, okay? Go in your yard, take a picture of a big rock, and then... Zoom in and tell me if it looks anything like that. If you could take a picture of a rock, 
like up at the mountains or something, just a normal everyday rock, and make it look like this with no manipulation, I'll eat that rock. I'll crush it with a sledgehammer and I'll eat every piece of it. See it? Go find a giant rock, take a picture of it, and see if it looks like that. Because people, there's supposed to be nobody on Mars. Nobody. But I got news for you. We've been up there for a long time. We've been up there probably before the 60s. Let me tell you something. There's a cat out there called Billy Meyer. If you don't know the Billy Meyer story, just look it up. That guy's got some pretty incredible pictures from some type of craft of thing <laughs> ships orbiting Mars. How he got these pictures are beyond me. I mean, the government's been trying to discredit him. They try to make him look crazy. But man, I believe he's just a regular cat man that got caught up in something crazy for whatever reason. He was picked to get the truth out. But when you get a chance, look up Billy Meyer. Type in, type in Billy Meyer photos. And just take a look at them. I mean, I'm sure most of you know about Billy Meyer, but if you don't, just do me a favor, check that out. You're going to be pretty amazed at what you, what you see. Look at this cool little statue. See how they blurred parts of it? See how it comes up? You see the hat? It's got something on its head. Two eyes, the mouth. That is a cool statue. Looks to be more carvings and stuff over here. More carvings back here. Look at the green that's in that. I believe all the pressure that all of us guys and girls have put on NASA is why we're seeing some of this. They know that they they have to. They know that they have to start really releasing this stuff. They're going to have to speed up disclosure. All right, guys. I got some pretty incredible stuff coming out. You know, I think I'm on to something hot. Uh, I'm going to get as much as if I can out. Like I said, my uh, my life has changed a little bit. <laughs> um, people know what I'm going through. You know. I mean, uh, having to spend time at places where I don't want to be and I got, you know, it's just ridiculous. You know, it's just ridiculous. But, uh, like I said, uh, in a couple of days, my life's going to be back to normal. And, uh, you know, I'll be pumping these out. I'm figuring out I'm going to do some type of giveaway, I think, when I get to uh, 2,500 subscribers. I think I'm going to do some type of pretty cool uh, giveaway. But uh, we'll get that figured out. Or if I get to uh, a million views. I'm probably going to get to a million views before I get to... Well, which, whichever one. A million views or, you know, 2,500 subscribers. I, I'm going to do something... Uh, I'll do something cool, you know. All right, guys. I'm, uh, I'm working on a couple other things. I'll get them out for you as soon as I can. And True Seeker loves you all. Thanks. Thanks for all your support. You know, the emails. It's just, you guys are incredible. you really class act. I, I, in my heart, believe I got some of the best viewers on YouTube. I tell you, I'm a lucky guy. Thank you. Thanks for all your help. You know who I'm talking about. Peace.